Hello, by Lost Nerds here, back in an episode of Mech Engineer. Coming back after another break. Been busy in life. Although, recording hasn't changed. Although, my knowledge of the situation might have. Mm. Ah, uh, yes. I was going to attempt to do a mech fight forward. Do I want to do it here? Because if this is just a nest, I'll do a reload. I'll put a save in here. That's a lava. And that's probably going to disconnect me. So this has to be it. Otherwise, I will not be able to fight this. Oh, we're putting Lance Leader. Lance Leader, you have lasers. That is the thing you don't want to target with the lasers. You will target the worm. Laser, laser part of the squads are going to just target the worm. Uh, the missile mech with its wonderful missile system will all target the wonderful, wonderful, annoying thing. Uh, yeah, the flame unit will also target the annoying attack, energy attacker. Um, and then we'll just have the rest of the unit with their guns target the smaller ones. Yes. Why does this feel so much faster? Your position. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, the problem is we're getting overwhelmed by the stupid jobbers. They're actually overwhelming us to the point where I can't actually win that. Unless I do some kind of redesign on the mechs. Um... Well, I'm going to assume, because I think Mr. Green is a normal base, and I'm going to put that in. I don't remember exactly what open systems are using. Yeah, you're using the old... Yeah, they're both using the old... Uh...
the old chain guns, and the cha old chain guns are not gonna cut cut it for what they're getting hit with. So this gun should be what we need to forcefully secure the ground. Now the main problem is figuring out how to actually slot onto the max. You take that off. And we gotta put just one of these. It's probably not gonna cut it. The other problem is I don't know if the molders I have could reasonably lift the mech that hard. Uh, I might have to work on decreasing the weight, because I do only have that much weight available. So, maybe a light variant that is a lot more faster firing. And just very inaccurate. Currently, the weight of the mech. Math, 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 math. So I'm pulling out the calculator on my computer. So I have 11, I'm a derp, I, that, that's simple math right there that I pull on my calculator for just because big number. Uh, does that mech have any a blade of armor? That might be something I could strip. Yes. So... Also, is there a lighter plate set that I could give it? That might be another thing I could do. Has one less piece of armor. Just also not lighter.
The other problem is these servos eat a lot of power. Or energy. I'm a derp because of the changing of the weight and all of the other stuff. Uh, okay. I bad at math. I'm gonna hit button. And I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna caveman. This will hopefully help clear out the smaller ones. As the chain guns are actually already ineffective. They don't, just don't work anymore. This might actually work. Because, like, let's open the book. If these things are even remotely armored up due to the, their newer hive status, 
then these should absolutely work against Four, four, five, two. Is the fives the new plates? No, it's just bulk armor, I think. I think it's a 33 passive armor. I'm tempted to bring back the other mech. This is a lot slower, but it does a hell of a lot more damage. Due to the better design this is, I am going to go grab the other one.
Let's we'll change its circuits. Now with these updated uh, anti-light, I think they'll be really worth using. Snick. 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 Um, actually, before I do anything else, I should probably take a glance at Gregory's mech. So maybe I also want to try to add what I've been doing with the other ones, like this one as well. The other thing is I think I need to add another heatsink module. This is theoretically a better design against the smaller. Uh, it's going to overpen. It's going to go through the mass swath of ore. And I don't need to be accurate with it. Because the entire purpose behind its design is just to clear out the little jobbers. Plus, we're going to have evasion removal of that. We're going to have confederate fire. Kinetic fire rate is up. Movement rate is up. When this thing fires, it will absolutely clear out everything nearby. I'm debating whether, because does Gregory use... Yes, Gregory uses the Allied Repair Mac. I think I might use Swift Swap Joe into his mech. 
and then turn Mr. Blue into a CRAM mech. Removing the drone slot for a CRAM. Alright, with all that extra work done, and a bunch of more engineering, engineers took up for time, let's actually attempt at this again. I believe, the main thing is those smaller ones were starting to overwhelm us due to my anti-smalls couldn't get rid of it. Ah, uh, the spell handbook. Can I get any information on... the that spell type Unless I go look it up third, to a third party, I'm not getting real information on what this does. I would love that information, but unfortunately I do not have it. Yeah, the newer shotgun prototype is actually doing a lot of work. Num number five, where are you going? Maybe I just need to be a bit more aggressive than taking the passive stance, because maybe if I forward force the march, I can get rid of those nests fast enough where I'm not getting overwhelmed. I'm just going to throw... Uh, you can all choose what you want. I'm going to have you choose to get rid of the nests. Because maybe if we just target the little ones outright, we can do better. Artillery fire. 
Yeah, when they're not getting around us, we actually can hold our own pretty well. That might have been the more bigger issue. When they all spawn in like this, the shock and blast obliterate them. Fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Okay, so we're, we're, we are slowly making ground in this infested region. God! Doing so good until one of the mechs runs off into the fucking enemy. I really hate that because they're supposed to be smart route, not stupid route. In smart route, you don't run into the enemy to get away from them. You run to the absolute opposite direction where there's nothing. But yes, just having everything on the hard priority of everything, or just the smaller ones, is helping us a lot, it does seem. 
I will also just save my artillery to take out the fat ones because the artillery early barrage didn't seem to really do much. So I also I do have to be early aggressive. I do have to push forward to try to clear out enough nests so I'm not getting swarmed constantly in two directions. Because as long as one is coming from one direction... Of course I'm on a corner. This will be the most better effort to not get screwed. I'm also allowing the mech pilots to choose their own targets, because I'm going to guess that might be more efficient than me trying to just micromanage them. As a lot of them are very experienced mech pilots. Couple mech pilots decided not to heed my order, so kind of screwed us on our advance forward. So I'm having to like fall back into a defensive location. As long as we have repairing mechs, we should be fine. We do have enough help across everyone to keep going, I think. Mark's the only one really in a dangerous spot. So chain guns I've realized are now just kind of obsolete in terms of if we're trying to deal with infestations. As the shotgun one is the shotgun cannon is just better. Why did three run in that direct? What's three doing? Three, 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 three is really panicked, but he's still alive.
So that other time where three got pulled into the horde probably wasn't him running around. It was probably one of the grabbers. So that thing does something new now. But our energy shield does seem to stop it. Oh, so it doesn't actually do its little turn thing. It just fires directly at us. Constantly. That's so nice. As long as we're behind, far enough behind our energy shield, it can't hurt us. Get together! Formation! We need that energy shield in the front. We don't need it in the back. Every time I try to press, I keep getting stupid artillery assaults on me. I'm gonna try a different angle. Maybe that'll help.
Spore, you, you, you're stupid. You draw a, a lot more fire on top of us when you... Four, what are you doing? Four, what are you doing? Four, what are you doing? Oh my fucking god, I hate it when the pilots just decide to randomly fucking route and just run straight into the enemy. Actually annoying. Because Mark's like an actual, like, decent pilot. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna route right into the enemy and kill myself. Like, what? Like, this is feasible. It's just gonna be annoying. And it's so annoying that I might just do a, a lance in and then wait for more artillery to spawn. I'm fucking restarting, because that's like five missiles into our own squad just because the game sucks sometimes when it comes to missiles. Was, oh! I'm gonna fire my missiles point blank into all of these like random jobbers, because of course, there is no safety settings for that. So I, I've just annihilated 90% of our own squad's health internally. Again, three kills himself because three doesn't listen to my orders. Fucking god. Yeah, I really hate when the goddamn AI is like, hey, I'm gonna route, I'm gonna route right into the enemy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill myself because I'm upset. So I don't put fucking suicide charges on these because I'm gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna suicide charge into the enemy. It's like no, I don't need a suicide fucking vested unit. If I wanted that, I'd make a mech unit with almost no armor, no nothing, and then get you to kill yourself. And also, why would I want a pilot to kill themselves? If I wanted someone to kill themselves, I would then design a mech that has an AI computer unit that could easily control to kill themselves. Because a mech pilot is more worse than the suicide. 
And also, I, I'm getting screwed on nest placement because if they put the nest too close to me everywhere, I just can't win. They'll just spawn them from all directions, and I physically can't do that. This nest placement's a lot more reasonable. Like, I can actually deal with it reasonable. I don't know why Seven's killing themselves in this stupid mud nest. One is now just random. One in four. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my fucking god. I fucking hate this game sometimes. Oh, I, I can get a better position by running right into the fucking enemy and killing myself. Yep, yep, totally a good position. Yep, great idea, guys. One in four. One doesn't have no fucking excuse because the one is the goddamn commander of the unit. They have zero excuse to run right into the fucking enemy. Random other fuckers that just magically decide, oh, it's, it's time to kill myself. I'm gonna run right into the enemy and kill myself. Alright, free will has been revoked because you all keep killing yourselves when I get good spawns. Almost dead. I love my fucking antivirus that pops up in the fucking front of my game. Thank you. Thank you, antivirus. I want to unsubscribe from you now. That is the eighth fucking time you've done that, where you popped in front of my face. Advertising for an upgrade I don't fucking want. As soon as the damn thing open the mouth, they get shock and blast. That's the thing. That little nest I want might want to push to the right to deal with because it is hitting me in my defensive position.
I'm gonna move north to try to deal with that those hives in the north. When the missiles get through, they they definitely take them out. Almost fucking dead. God damn it. Why did half the squad just stop moving? What the fuck are you guys doing? They just ignore my fucking order and stand there sometimes. It's like, uh, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're literally killing yourself for no reason. Like, a couple people really lost a lot of health and took a bunch of mech damage for no fucking reason. Just got hit by the big fuck you laser thing above. Up. And we have, like, number two getting himself in the open for no apparent reason. He's almost dead because he probably got hit by a couple energy balls. Getting himself fried in his own suit. Free will is no longer optional. Kill everything. What the fuck happened? <laughs> this is because, like, they're getting missile forwarded where the stupid fucking missiles exploding in their face because something fucking stupid happens. Unless I do a hard fucking micro to tell him not to fire because he's a goddamn idiot and gets himself constantly killed. Mark, I'm about to replace you fucking said. Your last chance to prove yourself. You piss me off again, I'm just replacing you with Zed because he's a higher HP pool. Because the thing is, I have to increase their free will to try to fight this. I can't just allow them to be m microed by me. Because they have to choose targets on their own. That are more important than my targeting. Alright. Get in there. There's a lot of nests right next to you. Kill as many as you fucking can.
My fucking god! You are so fucking stupid. I don't know why that's not programmed in the fucking game, where it's like, oh, there's a goddamn wall in my face. Why would I fire the goddamn missile? I don't understand why that's not, like, in the game's code. Where it's like, okay, this obviously is a horrible idea, I'm not gonna do it, but no, I'm gonna fire the fucking missile into the goddamn little piece of wall in front of me. Like, it's one of those things that I shouldn't have to tell the mech pilot not to do. If it was just a autonomous, stupid computer that is very just in my control, that only has basic programming to defend itself, then yes, I would get it. But when you have a goddamn mech pilot that has, like, survived for this long, fire a damn missile into a point-blank wall just because... Yeah, just cuz I want to kill myself and I want to hurt the mech lance, just cuz.
Ah, so that countdown is just when the next artillery barrage comes in. I've never realized that. Right, once this wave is over, we're going to push forward again. Uh, I should probably press the bottom so I can start clearing out some of those nests because they might be. So I can start pressing it from the bottom to take out those smaller nests. Zed is. or Bob's really hurt. Mark's also really hurt. Reform so you don't take the stupid energy blast to the face, please. Once those are dealt with, I'll then press, start pressing forward. The both Mark and Bob being very low. Debating whether to continue this mission. It just takes them doing something stupid. And they're dead. Uh, I could attempt to strike it from the north and slowly do damage and just back and forth it. I might just do that. 
for lower risk. Seven and two, or is it seven and eight? Took a bunch of damage unnecessarily. Slow down. Your position. Wait, does... Does one of the main thing die kill all the Overham? They're not spawning anymore. I guess it does. That is a first that I get to know of.
Uh, you 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 get a, you get a gold star for commanding that commanding that shit show. Uh, you both get a sold you get a medal because you're pretty fucking wounded. Ah, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's some kind of infection. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm not. Gregory, you do t when has a stupid fucking infection. I'm assuming that their health's going to slowly deteriorate if I don't fix that infection. Because if it's just a, oh, they die, oh, I'm kind of screwed. I guess I have a lot more resources by having the engineers do some work. The three max won't be repaired this turn because of that. I'm really hoping that this infection stuff isn't just they die instantly if they don't get immediately treated. And it's just either it affects their morale or something, I don't know. But that'll be it for this episode of Mech Engineer. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and peace!